Hello friends, welcome back to the Top 10 Most Awesome Channel. Do you regularly catch yourself daydreaming of foreign adventures and exploring new countries? Sure, I hear you say, maybe once I win the lottery I can visit abroad, but the good news is, travel doesn't have to be expensive. There are many affordable countries where you can visit without getting much more bang for your buck. Today, we're looking at the top 10 cheapest countries of the world. But first, make sure you watch the video till the end because number one is the best and cheapest heaven you could ever visit. Number 10, Cuba. Cuba is one of those stunning places. The lovable culture vibes and the history of Havana. Did you know that Cuba is also one of those inexpensive destinations in the Americas? Havana can be explored in two to three days, ideally covering old Havana, taking a classic car tour, drinking mojitos, and learning all about their history from their museums. And you don't have to break the bank. Keep in mind that the three star in a North America will be a four star in Cuba. Casa particulars are also quite affordable, starting from $25 to $30 and above. And the food, for $6, you can have an entire meal with a drink, dessert, and main course in Old Havana. Ice creams and mojitos in most food stalls and Casa Palandars in privately owned restaurants will be around three to four dollars. If you are willing to line up and get food from a government operated restaurant, you might end up paying less than one dollar. Number nine, Indonesia. It's no secret that Asian countries are among the cheapest in the world to visit as well as to settle in. While many visitors flock to well-known places in Thailand or the Philippines, Indonesia is probably one of the best and cheapest countries to live in. What not to love about Indonesia? This vast nation with more than 17,000 islands offers so much cultural diversity and natural beauty. From the ancient Buddhist temple of Borobudur to the underwater marine paradise of Raja Ampat, there is always something to explore. The cost of living in Indonesia is relatively cheap. For example, in many traditional warungs, food stalls, you can expect to pay no more than $1.50 to get a full meal. If you are not familiar with the local food, there are many basic Indonesian food facts and dishes to try. Budget backpackers can expect to pay $10 to $30 per day by staying with locals or budget hostels and eating in local establishments. Number 8. Mexico Viva Mexico! Why travel further than you need to, when Mexico is just a hop, skip, and a cheap flight away from most Americas and Canadians? Mexico has something to offer everyone. Think Mayan ruins in the jungle, turquoise Caribbean waters, and laid-back beach towns on the Pacific Ocean. Oh, and have we mentioned street food yet? Yes, from tacos to tamales, ceviche to aguas frescas, the food isn't only drool-worthy, but also super cheap. If you avoid tourist traps like Cancun or Playa del Carmen and opt for more local destinations like Merida or Guanajuato, living costs can be a fraction of those in western cities. Getting around Mexico is super easy as well. The major cities are connected well. Right from the airport, we suggest the ADO buses for around $10 to $20, depending on where you are going. Once in the local cities, jump in the local colectivos for cheap transportation. You can easily travel to Mexico on a budget of $50 a day or less and eat like a king, visit some of the best beaches, and some epic day trips too. Number seven, Cambodia. Cambodia is a country we return to again and again. It has so much to offer. The vibrancy and grandeur of the capital Phnom Penh, the awesome history on display of Angkor Wat, the old world charm of Batam Bang, the beautiful beaches as Sinhandu Kvil, the stunning natural landscapes of the north, the chance to see Lawadi dolphins in the Mekong River, the delicious food, and above all, the friendly people. Despite their horrific recent history, Cambodians are open and welcoming to visitors, relishing the opportunity to share the secrets of their homeland. Not only does it have all these fantastic attractions, but Cambodia is also a great place to visit if funds are limited. Independent travelers can spend as little as $10 to $12 per day on accommodation, food, and travel. For a budget of $20 to $30 per day, you can live very comfortably. Number six, Lithuania. If you are already traveling around Europe, consider Lithuania. 
It's your gateway to the Baltic region. Getting to Lithuania by bus from other cities is relatively cheap, between $12 to $50. In Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania, you could spend as little as $22 a day. This would include staying at a hostel, buying a few groceries, and enjoying some local food while out and about. Finding a hostel that includes breakfast is relatively easy, and that will save you one meal a day. You can find hostels for around $10 to $15 a night. Aren't hostels your thing? Don't worry. You can find some great little minimalistic hotels for $22 to $38 a night. Number five, Turkey. There's something for every taste in Turkey, from ancient sites and modern cities to endless turquoise beaches, majestic green mountains, the travertine terraces at Pumakale, the rock formations at Cappadocia, and one of the best cuisines in the world. Backpackers, culture addicts, luxury travelers, and cruise passengers each find their ideal vacation here. Turkish people are friendly and welcoming. Although they might not speak much English outside the main tourist hotspots such as Istanbul and Ancala, economically, Turkey has not been doing great the past years as the natural currency, the lira, depreciated drastically. Nowadays, services are six times cheaper in Turkey when compared to Europe. Say if you were to pay $12 for a cab ride in Vienna, the same distance would cost you $1.50 in Istanbul. Consequently, one-way public transport tickets go for as little as the equivalent of five cents to a dollar, while a meal at a decent restaurant does not cost more than six to twelve dollars. If you are looking to save some cash, there are fantastic street food options. Stay tuned, guys, because more cheap and wonderful countries are yet to come whose attractions and cost will make you pack your bags right now. Before moving further, just press the like button below and share the video with your travel troop. Also, subscribe to the top 10 most awesome channel by pressing the bell icon so it will inform you first as we post another amazing video. Number 9. Vietnam For those wanting to live and work in an exotic place but not pay a fortune, Vietnam is any budget traveler's dream. It's one of the best and cheapest countries to live in for expats. Although Vietnam is still a bit of an outsider tip when it comes to cheap countries in which to live and travel, there's plenty to see and do. Vietnam has stunning landscapes to explore, delicious local cuisine for foodies, and is also somewhat of an adventure travel destination. The main cities of Ho Chi Minh City in the south, capital Hanoi in the north, and Da Nang in the center of the country. Most jobs will be found in these cities. The currency, Vietnamese dong is currently worth around BND 23,000 to $1 and is one of the few currencies that has weakened relative to the dollar in recent years. Number three, Laos. Often overshadowed by its more famous neighbors in Thailand and Vietnam, Laos is not to be missed on your next Southeast Asian itinerary. This tiny country is an absolute gem with cheap eats, accessible transportation, and more natural attractions than you could imagine. Travel through Laos can be easily worked into any budget with options for all kinds of price points. Depending on your budget, there are hotels for everyone with hostels averaging about $10 to $15 and mid-range hotels sitting around the $30 to $50 price point per night. Traveling between cities throughout Laos is also very affordable. A train between Luang Pogang and Viet Thuan costs about $16 one way, and a one flight between the two cities starts for $45. Once you've arrived and got settled into your accommodation, it feels like everything else in Laos is only a couple of dollars. Delicious street food can be found all over Laos, with meals starting under a dollar. Tuk Tuk rides average only a couple of dollars to get you around the towns and cities. Even entrance into some of the most beautiful waterfalls and attractions costs as little as two dollars. It's the perfect place to unwind and give your budget a break. Number two, Georgia. Its capital, Tbilisi, is full of quirky buildings, sulfur baths, orthodox churches, and lively cafes. Only a two hours drive to the east brings you to the wine region with rolling hills and unique wine-making traditions. 
Did you know that the world's oldest wine was found in 8,000 year old jars in Georgia? No wonder locals are so proud of their wines. After exploring the pleasures of the city, head to the countryside, the true gem of Georgia. The four most amazing villages are Mestia, Ashguli, Kazbegi, and Mesqueta. Amazing part is, the drivers hit the road at mad speed, so you should not attempt driving yourself without decades of practice and strong nerves. But in Georgia, you do not really need to rent a car. Public transport is ridiculously cheap, or you can join the many one to four day tours organized by small local agencies. A one day group tour costs around $20 to $25. A dinner for two people, $8. A couple of hour Morshrata ride $10. On average, a traveler would spend about $20 a day. And finally, I reveal the place mentioned heaven before. Number one, Ethiopia. Ethiopia is one of the cheapest countries to visit in the world and has something for everyone. It's a diverse country with much to offer from culture, history, food, and wildlife. You can find a hotel room in Ethiopia for $10 a night. Ethiopia is one of the cheapest countries to travel to in Africa, and you can get a meal for less than $5. Gondar in Ethiopia is the jumping off point to go trekking in the Seaman Mountains in northern Ethiopia, searching for the Galeta Baboon, which is only found there. Several treks in the Seaman Mountains offer fantastic scenery and plenty of wildlife, such as the ibex, caracals, and Ethiopian wolves. The Seaman Mountains are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and well worth a visit as it is like nowhere else on Earth. This list just scratches the surface. There are so many incredible destinations around the world where you can travel on a budget. You really don't have to break the bank to have a wonderful time on your next vacation. And if you are traveling with friends or as a couple, you can save so much more on accommodation by sharing the cost. Traveling and exploring the world is so rewarding. So what are you waiting for? If you have more cheap places to suggest, do let us know in the comment box. Also, to watch the playlist of top 10 to know more about the countries. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and have fun.